Good morning, grade 8 students, and welcome to today's lesson 7E, Listen and Speak. Please get prepared and open your student's book, page 94. Let's have a look at the learning objectives. By the end of this lesson, you will be able to Identify specific details after listening carefully to four people talking about shopping. Express opinions through agreeing or disagreeing with four statements fluently. Let's begin with this warm-up activity. Which words do you think will be mentioned in today's lesson about shopping? That's right. Hangout. Offer. Variety. Money. And entertainment. Can you think of more words? You are amazing. Crowded. Tearing. Noisy. Boring. And cues. You are absolutely right. Now let's have a look at the first task in our lesson today. Activity A. Discuss. Question number one. Where do you usually go shopping? Do you choose different shops for different things? Or do you shop at department stores? Why? Or why not? You can pause the video for a while and think about it. Are you ready? Let's share some answers. One of you might say, There is a shopping center near my house. So I usually go there when I need to buy something because I'm sure I'll find everything I need. Now have a look at question number two. Do you enjoy shopping? Justify your answer. Excellent. I'm crazy about shopping, especially clothes. If I had enough money, I would buy anything I liked. Another might say, I don't like shopping. I find it boring and tiring, so I only go shopping when I really need to buy something. Question number three. What kind of things do you like shopping for? Well done. You might say, most of the time I like food shopping. I really like going to get healthy food at the grocery store. Question number four. Do you prefer shopping alone or with friends? Justify your answer. Excellent. One of you might say, I like shopping with my friends because I can get their opinion on what to buy. Another might say, I prefer shopping alone because I can find what I want in less time. The last question. How often do you shop online? And what do you buy? Very good. I shop online once a month. I buy clothes and some gadgets. Another might say, I never shop online. Great job, dear students. Now let's move on to activity B. In this activity, you are going to listen to four people talking about shopping and match the names with the statements A to D. Ready? Let's begin. 7E 1 Listen. B. Listen to four people talking about shopping and match the names 
with the statements A to D. Saha. I definitely think people should avoid shopping centres. What is there to like? Spending hours standing in queues, or getting pushed around by large groups of people, or going from shop to shop trying to see which one has cheaper prices? I just end up feeling exhausted and annoyed. Personally, I believe it's much more pleasant to stay home and buy everything I want online. I mean, in my opinion, one of the biggest advantages of going to a shopping centre is that you can do your shopping even if the weather is bad. It doesn't matter if it's freezing cold, boiling hot, or raining heavily outside. Inside the shopping centre, you'll always be comfortable. It can get a bit crowded sometimes, but I don't mind that. I also feel that it's easier to find what you're looking for because there's usually a map showing you where each shop is. Jensen, it's certainly useful to have lots of shops close together in a shopping centre, but I don't think it's very good for our spending habits. You see, you might just want to quickly go to one shop, but end up spending a couple of hours walking around and buying things you don't need. In my view, shopping centres are just too huge and have too many options. It makes it difficult for people to focus. Clara. If you ask me, very few people actually go to shopping centres only to shop. People my age see them as a place to hang out. There are just so many activities to choose from there. You can go to the cinema and watch a film, grab a bite to eat with your friends. Some shopping centres even put on amazing events or organise indoor sports like rock climbing or rollerblading. So what did Sahar say? Correct. The answer is D. What about Amin? Excellent. The answer is C. What did Jensen say? That's right. The answer is A. And finally, what did Clara say? Well done. The answer is V. In Activity C, you are going to complete the dialogue with the phrases in the box. Pause the video, take a couple of minutes, and try to do it by yourself. Now listen and check your answers. C. Complete the dialogue with the phrases in the box. Then listen and check your answers. In my opinion, Shopping centres make people spend more money than they want to. They offer too much choice and make people buy more and more. I don't know. I'm not so sure about that. They certainly give you a lot of options, but people don't have to buy anything they don't want to. You're right, of course. But you see so many attractive shop windows that you just want to get everything. And don't forget the special offers. It seems to me that shopping centres do their best to encourage spending. You have a point, but I think people should be able to focus and buy only what they need. That's what I think too, but it can be difficult. Let's check your answers. Number one is. That's right. In my opinion. Number two is. Excellent. I'm not so sure. Number three is. Well done. You are right. Number four is. Very good. It seems. Number five is. That's right. Have a point. And the last one is. You are amazing. That's what I think. Great job, dear students. Now let's move on to the speaking task. Pay attention, dear students, that we have here phrases we use to express one's opinion, phrases we use to agree, and phrases we use to disagree. 
Let me read some of them. To express one's opinion, you can use I definitely think or I don't think. Personally, I believe or I strongly believe that. In my opinion or in my view. To agree, you can use I totally agree with you. You are absolutely right about that. I think or I believe so. I guess so. Or you have a point. To disagree, you can use I totally disagree with you. I'm afraid I disagree. I don't agree at all. Now pause the video for a while and read through all the phrases. Now, can you think of any more phrases to add, dear students? Pause the video for a while and try to figure it out. Ready? For expressing one's opinion, what phrases can you think of? Excellent! I'm sure that. For agreeing, what phrases can you think of? You are right. We can use Certainly There is no question about that. Of course, you are right. That's correct. For disagreeing What phrases can you think of? Amazing we can use, I'm not sure I agree. Maybe so, but. Yes, but you must also consider. Well done, dear students. In activity B, you are going to talk in pairs. First, read the statements A to D. In one listen, activity B. Do you agree with them? Justify your answers. Express your opinion and agree or disagree with each other given reasons, as in activity C. You can also use some of the expressions in the box. Pause the video, take a couple of minutes and try to do the activity. This is a suggested answer. A. In my opinion, shopping centers are great because you can find a variety of products and shops. B. Well, maybe. But don't you think that it can be confusing? I mean, there are so many products to choose from that you don't know what to buy. A. You have a point but I think that you always find whatever you want. Also, they are great places to hang out. B. I couldn't agree more. You can watch a film at the cinema or grab something to eat. A. Exactly. The only thing I can't stand is the long queues at fitting rooms. B. I agree. Shopping centers are usually crowded and noisy, and I can't stand waiting for so long to try something on. Thank you for watching. Until next time, stay safe.